Hi guys, welcome back to Vlogmas. Tonight, well, right now I'm on Westminster Bridge. Big Ben. But I'm headed to one of the London Christmas markets on London South Bank, which is just over there. Let's see if I can zoom in on the carousel. It's going to take a lot longer to walk there than it did to zoom in on it, that's for sure. But, let's go! time-lapse walks rather than just stationary ones. The stationary ones look cool, but I think time-lapse walks, because I walk a lot of places, I think they give you a sense of both direction and scale in the city. <laughs> The, uh, the markets are just, they're just next door. Okay, welcome to the South Bank Christmas markets. Let's go around, see if we can find, well, have a look around, see if we can find find something festive to eat, hopefully something festive to drink. There's been a Christmas market here for years and it was the best one in town. Great stalls, good layout along the river and a great location. The South Bank Centre is very accessible. Until last year that is. Last year there were significant changes. The market that had been here for years was moved along the river to the Tate Modern. It's the, the one where I got smoke in Santa earlier in the month. And to be honest they both suffered. We had the best traditional Christmas market moved a bit out of the way and starting from scratch in a new location with far lower footfall. And the South Bank Centre one clearly had some new deal with Record the League Cider who built a massive two storey bar and club in a car park beside the South Bank Centre. So they then shifted the layout of the chalet market to funnel people into the bar area, moving, moving it away from the riverbank which has great views and more to be below the underpasses of the train tracks and into the old car park. This market last year was more, it had more of a nightclub atmosphere so plenty of food and drink and dominated by a two-story club and bar with DJs, dancing, all of that. 
The layout last year was just a cramped disaster, but it looks like they've done a better job this year, separating the traditional festive stalls, a sort of more family orientated area along the river, with a roller disco and the recorder lid club and bar in the car park again, paired up with the more food and drink orientated stalls. I think if you're out for a night out and you haven't got kids with you, you're with friends and you're looking for a festive party atmosphere, the Recorder League Market is going to be a great night out for you. If you've got push chairs and buggies and young children, the more relaxed and more spacious Tate Modern setup is probably going to be more appropriate, or even the food market behind the South Bank Centre. Which is a real shame because being right next to the South Bank Centre, this one probably has better family facilities and access. In my opinion, they should have just left the Christmas market as it was and built the Recorder League bar in the car park as an addition. A family festive market as it was along the river and a party in the car park out the back and kept them separate rather than trying to mix the whole thing up. So anyway, let's go and see how the party is going tonight. I should have arranged to meet Chloe here, it's pretty buzzy. DJ, drinks, it's good. Not like most Christmas markets. When in Rome, well, I feel like I'm in IKEA. I mean, I mean Sweden. There's uh, the Recorder League cider bar. Got some Recorder League cider. Just add some Swedish meatballs. I'll be honest. If you want to get, if you want to bring your family somewhere and get in the festive spirit, this isn't the place for you. But if you want to drink the festive spirit and have a party, this place is amazing. I love it. Christmas markets. Um, when I've done them all one at a time, I think I'll compare them all because they're all very different, especially this one. It was good, but different. So, 
Merry Christmas. Thanks for watching and until tomorrow, toodles.